Whenever a new Vapor comes out, everyone wants to know if it's worth upgrading. And while the Vapor 13 might look like more of the same as the Vapor 12, it's actually anything but. And today, I'll dive into the differences between the old Vapor 12 and the brand spanking new Vapor 13 to give you guys an idea about how they compare in terms of fit, touch and traction, but also, more importantly, answer if you should fork out the money and make the upgrade. Now I'll give you the answer later on if you haven't for some reason already made up your mind by that time. But first things first, let's talk about the fit. Because where the Vapor 13 is actually built on the same last, you know, the same foot shape as on the Vapor 12, and still features this 360 degree full flanet upper that wraps the entire way around your foot. The fit is actually significantly different. And that is partly due to the fact that Nike have introduced their so-called high tenacity yarn, which has then been woven into a base of very, very soft flanet. See, the trick with high tenacity yarn is that not only is it still flexible like a flyknit yarn would be, but it's also very strong. And this means that on foot, the Vapor 13 is not only softer and more pliable and less plasticky than the Vapor 12, but it also feels more structured and more stable. The reason for that is that the high tenacity yarn here is constructed to tighten up whenever you start to move, which means that it holds the foot in place when it moves inside the boot, resulting in a much better lockdown in the Vapor 13 than in the Vapor 12, where you get the sensation of both having the personal fit because the knit is still very, very soft, but also where you get a more secure, confident sensation with that more locked in feel in the Vapor 13. And it even goes to show on the tongue piece, which might look like the same, but actually on the Vapor 13, it's been made with a tighter, more elasticated weave, giving you a more compressed sensation around the top of your foot. And granted, it might be a small, insignificant thing to many, but it actually feels nice and as if the board is more connected to your foot. However, that also means that the Vapor 13 feels less stretchy and roomy than the Vapor 12 does. Because despite being built on the same last, the Vapor 13 is actually significantly lower in the toe box, giving you a much tighter and more snug sensation out there because there's simply, well, a lot less volume in the front part of the boot, which for me is something I personally love a lot and it reminds me of the older Vapors. But if you have a flat or otherwise chunky, really big wide foot, it might be a little bit too tight for comfort for some people out there. Whereas the Vapor 12, I would say, was a bit more forgiving. But of course, I'm, I'm not gonna lie here, the Vapor 13 does feel a lot like the Vapor 12 because after all, it still has those sock-like capabilities that were so good about the Vapor 12 here, but also at the same time, you do get that really tight, pleasant, super locked in trademark Vapor sensation that you got in, for instance, the Vapor 11 on top of this sock-like sensation as well. And because of these similarities with the Vapor 12, I'd once again go true to size. But if you have a slightly large, flat, chunky foot, just keep that extra tightness in mind so you won't make the wrong choice. <laughs> Now when it comes to touch, the two generations here are also very similar. They both feel like a vapor. They have that super close, very sharp and honest sensation on the ball and also give you that pingy barefoot-like sensation you expect from a vapor when you strike it. But unlike on the Vapor 12, the Vapor 13 here actually also offers a slightly more grippy textured sensation on the ball but without adding any bulk because the texture actually comes from the knit itself and not these little extra strips of silicone that sits on top of the 12. And because it also has a lower toe box, it feels ever so slightly more nimble than the 12 did. And actually, it reminds me a little bit of what I think would happen if you combine the touch from the 12 with that of the Vapor 11, which was more or less as sharp as it gets. So if you really like that close, very honest, barefoot-like sensation on the ball, with a little bit of extra grip sprinkled on top, the Vapor 13 is gonna be right up your alley. Now for the outsole, Nike might have changed a few things, but by and large, it still feels more or less the same. And I don't think too many people 
will actually feel the big difference. But actually, if we take a look here on the Vapor 12, it does feel a little more flexible under the forefoot because on the Vapor 13, Nike added the so-called Aero Track Spine here, which goes in and the second you start to bend your foot, it gradually becomes stiffer and stiffer, meaning that you simply get a much more aggressive snapback when your foot has bent and, and basically returns to its normal position, meaning that the Vapor 13 also feels ever so slightly more responsive than the Vapor 12, which in turn then feels a bit more comfortable as if it moves a bit more freely with your foot. Although the Vapor 12 is still very, very responsive, so it kind of paints a picture. The studs have also been made a little bit longer and while I feel they dig a bit more into the ground, I don't think too many people will care that much. It's still hella aggressive, it's still super responsive, so not too much of change. So to sum it up, yes, the Vapor 13 is more of the same. But it actually also takes everything the Vapor 12 did so well that made people love it and improves it in more or less every single department. So to answer the question, if it's worth spending 250 euros to make the upgrade, there's a very simple answer to that question and that is yes. It really is. I would personally go and do that. And if you fancy yourself a pair of Vapor 13, you can go and buy them and be one of the first in your team to wear them. And the best place to do that is if you click the link and go to unisportstore.com right over there. But before you bounce, make sure that you tell us which of the two boots you like more in the comment section right down below. Smash the subscribe button, ring the bell notification button, and then go learn some pretty wicked skills via the playlist right down there. And with that said, guys, I'm signing off. Cheerio.